In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial you will learn how to create guy on a scooter in flat style. First you will see basics and advanced methods of how to use pen tool and shape builder tool to redraw illustration from sketch very fast and professional. And then we'll learn how to bring your workflow to new level using opacity mask, clipping mask, gradients and blending modes. Even if you are a beginner, by the end of this tutorial you will boost your creativity and will be able to create your own stunning flat style illustration. You are watching TNT tutorials, let's move on and create a new document. Select Print, A4, Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. You can download sketch, reference and colors by the link in the video description. After this click here on File, Place and find path to downloaded material. Let's create new layer, rename it to Plants, I for eyedropper tool. I will pick this color, click here to swap fill and stroke, hold out and use scroll on your mouse to zoom in. P for pen tool. To navigate through workspace I use hand tool. Just hold space to use it. Let's start with this object and you might want to do it like so. Old school method. But what I want to show you today is that you can do it much faster and use old school method only in some specific situations. Let's simply do something like this. Also you can see that this object is behind scooter, but that doesn't mean that we should draw only this part. Later we might want to move something and to be able to do this you should have whole object. Connect points. Now hold out and make lines curved like this. Don't worry about these corners, we will fix it just a little bit later. Alright, now A for direct selection tool, pick this corner and drag this dot like so. As you can see, this method is very fast. P for pen tool. Let's draw a line here. V for selection tool. Deselect this line. Select it again. R for rotate tool. Hold out and click on this point. Make sure that preview is turned on. Choose angle like this. You don't need to be too precise, click on copy, press Ctrl plus D after this, then V for selection tool, select these lines, press O for reflect tool, hold alt, click on these points, choose vertical and click on copy. After this, A for direct selection tool, pick this point and adjust line like this. The same with other lines. So you don't need to rotate them like so. Just use direct selection tool and manipulate these points. Now let's make this line look much more interesting. Select this one, press Shift plus W for width 2. Width 2 is over here. I will hold Alt and use scroll to zoom in. Just use width 2 like so. You can make this line thinner here. And if you don't like these edges, select all lines, properties, stroke, select round cap and round join. You don't need to use width tool on all these lines. Just select this line, open this layer group, take a look at these dots, they are empty and this dot is filled. Hold Alt and drag this dot, like so. Do the same to other objects. Let's continue with this object. P for Pen tool, and in this case it's easier to use old school method. I mean this method. 
To stop drawing lines, hold Ctrl and click somewhere. You will have pen tool active and you will be able to continue again. For those who are new to Illustrator, I will quickly explain basics of pen tool. Just drag point like so. Don't drag it too much, just a little. Also, you don't need to be too precise. You can draw line like so. Then right now we need sharp corner here. And for this, let's hold Alt and stop drawing like so. I will press Ctrl Z. If you want to have smooth corner here, don't hold Alt and simply connect these points. After you created any shape with Pen tool, press A for direct selection tool. I need sharp corner, so I will hold Alt with direct selection tool active and move this handle like this. Release Alt. After you create a sharp corner, you don't need to use Alt again. Simply work with handles. To save time, let's press V for selection tool, hold Alt and duplicate this leaf like this. Let's rotate it just a bit. Properties. Flip along horizontal axis. Absolutely the same on this side. P for pen tool. When you need to draw such curved line, you don't need to drag with pen tool like so. You can draw line like this, then A for direct selection tool and manipulate handles. Don't be too precise here also. What we need right now is to simply have all this sketch redrawn. Later we will play with all these shapes very fast and easy, just as we are creating them right now. For this object, L for ellipse tool. Don't hold shift, we don't need ideal ellipse. Let's draw oval. Before you release the left mouse button, you can hold space and adjust this ellipse like so. Release space. Left mouse button, P for pen tool, and simply draw such sharp objects. Don't connect these points. Let's hold Ctrl, click somewhere. Hold Ctrl, click somewhere again. Now let's select all these objects and press Shift plus M. To use Shape Builder. Shape Builder is over here. Now simply hold Alt and drag with Shape Builder like so. Now as you can see we need to delete all these unnecessary parts and to do this very fast you should select all these objects and simply deselect object that you don't want to delete. So we don't want to delete this object. Let's hold Shift. Click on it and then delete all these parts. Let's continue with this object. I will pick another color just to have better view. P for pen tool. You don't need to draw with pen tool like so. I will press Ctrl plus Z. Let's just create points. Hold Alt and adjust lines. I didn't switch to direct selection tool, only pen tool active and hold it Alt. With hold it Alt I manipulate handles. After this, you might want to move some points, A for direct selection tool, pick needed points, move them and move handles. P for pen tool, hold Alt. I usually quickly switch between pen tool and direct selection tool. If you have some unnecessary points, P for pen tool, 
and simply click on unneeded points. I see that this object might be visible through this wheel, so I will move these lines here. I will also create two points. Now as I have handles here, I will press A for direct selection tool, hold out, and manipulate these handles. P for pen tool again. Let's draw a line here. Hold Ctrl, click somewhere to stop drawing line. You don't need to waste your time and draw all these curved lines one by one. Let's simply create straight lines quickly. After this, with pen tool active, hold Alt and simply make all these lines curved. Sometimes you might want to make sketch invisible. To see results better, I will use width tool on this line just as I did with this object. Now I will adjust width to this one. Open layer group. To quickly find this line here, for example, try to make it visible and invisible again. Make sure that this line is needed line. Hold out. Drag this dot here. And do the same to all these lines. Also, when you will have many layers, you might want to quickly find some object in Layers panel. All you need is to pick it and then click here on Locate Object. Also, I recommend you to group such objects. So let's select them all. And press Ctrl plus G. After this, let's pick this group. Select this object also. Ctrl plus G again. When you will draw many objects from sketch, you can simply make some of objects invisible. Let's group these ones. Now as you have all these objects grouped, you have much better control on them. Let's draw this object. I will start by dragging handles from point. Then drag a little in needed places. Don't create too many points, you don't need this. Now I will hold Alt, drag this handle here and hold Shift also to make straight line. Hold Alt and connect these points. After this you can use A for direct selection tool, pick needed points and manipulate them. I will create this line as we already did. Now let's select all these objects. I will deselect this one, press Ctrl plus G. After this, select them all and press Ctrl plus G again. Let's make plants layer invisible, create new layer and rename it to scooter. I for eyedropper tool. I will pick this color, P for pen tool, and all you need is to create lines like so. Let's swap fill and stroke. Don't worry if you will place some points incorrectly, just draw something like this. Then with pen tool selected, hold out, adjust this shape, I will switch to direct selection tool, move some points, handles also, P for pen tool, hold out, A for direct selection tool. Right here I see that I don't need this point, P for pen tool. I will just click on this point, hold out, and curve this line like so. A for direct selection tool. You can pick such points with direct selection tool and drag dot. 
P for pen tool, A for direct selection tool, now with direct selection tool, let's round such corners, you can pick two points at once, let's round this corner, I will also round this one, and as you can see, right now I need to move some points, so I will select them, and simply adjust as I need, P for pen tool, now let's simply create lines, like so. A for direct selection tool, I will pick this point, round corners here, pick each point and adjust it. Sometimes you might have only one handle, that means that you have sharp corner here. So I will pick this point, properties, and select convert selected anchor points to smooth. And you can adjust it like this. You can see that I don't have handles here, but we can select this point and convert this selected anchor point to smooth also. Let's create this object. Like so. A for direct selection tool. Let's select these two points and move them here. P for pen tool. With hold it out, we can manipulate lines like this. Now let's hold shift, draw straight line, hold control, click somewhere, V for selection tool, duplicate it, press control plus D, select them, control plus G to group, and let's rotate them according to reference. I will also increase stroke width. To create such parts, it's much easier to press M for rectangle tool, draw rectangle, place it like so, A for direct selection tool, and adjust corners. Let's round corners here also, P for pen tool, Hold Alt, A for direct selection tool, round this corner, let's move these points, play with handles, let's do the same here, create triangle, don't be afraid to move or change anything, as you can see it's very fast and easy to create all these lines, now I see that I need to bring this line down. We can easily select all points of all objects with direct selection tool and move them as we need. Now I will create this part, drag handles just a little, I will try to delete this point, and sometimes to move points you can use left, right, up or down buttons on your keyboard, L for ellipse tool, hold shift, you can hold space also to adjust this ellipse correctly, now let's change stroke width to match sketch, then object, expand, this is not line anymore, this is just a simple object, let's place it here for now, then L for ellipse tool again, let's swap fill and stroke, create another ellipse, Increase stroke width again, then M for rectangle tool, draw a rectangle, swap fill and stroke, let's select these two objects, horizontal align center, let's move this rectangle up, then R for rotate tool, and if you will move your mouse to the center of this ellipse, it will highlight it for you. 
so let's hold Alt and click right here in the center. Now you don't need to count anything, any degrees, just enter 360 degrees, divide, and we have 5 parts here. So I will enter 5. If you want to create more parts, enter any value you want. After this, click here on copy and press Ctrl plus D as many times as you need. Now let's select this ellipse, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, make it smaller and swap fill and stroke. After this select all objects, hold shift, deselect this central ellipse, object, expand, OK. We did this to make object from this line. Now in Pathfinder, let's click Unite. I will adjust this color. For this ellipse, I will adjust this color and I will bring this layer up. Now we can select all these objects, horizontal align center and vertical align center. Let's pick color for this part. I will make this object smaller just a bit. I have eyedropper tool. Let's pick black color. M for rectangle tool. Swap fill and stroke. Create first rectangle. A for direct selection tool. Round corners. V for selection tool. Hold Alt and duplicate it. Then press Ctrl plus D as many times as you need. Let's swap fill and stroke again. Press Ctrl plus G to group. Then let's pick yellow color. L for ellipse tool. Then M for rectangle tool. Align these objects. And press Ctrl plus G again. Smart guides will help you to align some objects. I will bring these layers down. And now let's use smart guides to place this object here. Press Ctrl G to group. Then R for take 2. Hold Alt. Click here. And I will stop on this degree. Let's rotate this one. Then duplicate all these objects. And move them up. Let's make this wheel look different. Rotate this part. Let's select all these objects. Press Ctrl plus G to group. The same here. And this is good moment to show you that you don't need to blindly follow reference. When I created sketch, all that parts looked very nice. But when I started to redraw this illustration in Illustrator, I realized that illustration in this part becomes too complicated and takes too much attention. So I simply created object like this here, just to fill this gap. To separate all these parts, let's select all these lines, Shift plus M for Shape Builder, and click on each of these parts one by one. After this, let's just simply delete unnecessary lines. We have the same here. Let's select these lines, Shift plus M, click here, delete these lines. And you can see that all these parts are separated. And we can adjust colors to them. You don't need to use Shape Builder in such parts, because each of these objects will cover another object, and some parts won't be visible. Let's lock Scooter layer, create new layer, and rename it to Character. I for eyedropper eye tool, I will pick this color. P for pen tool, swap fill and stroke, and create line like this. Don't create too many points. With hold it out, I will move this handle here. Let's connect these points. Hold Ctrl, click somewhere on the workspace. Hold Alt, connect these points, then A for direct selection tool, and manipulate handles as you need. You might want to manipulate handles and points after you will adjust colors, so you don't need to be extremely precise, just make sure that you are drawing everything correctly. To create this object, I will create straight lines, and then use Alt to make them curved. A for direct selection tool, let's round this corner, 
and this corner. L for ellipse tool, let's deselect it, P for pen tool, D for selection tool, select these two objects, Shift plus M for shape builder, hold Alt, and delete this part. Let's delete this line also. Let's select this object, P for pen tool, hold Alt, and let's adjust these lines according to reference. A for direct selection tool. Let's round these corners. Let's continue. Right here I won't create any points. I will create point here. And I remind you that you don't need to drag handles to match anything. Just leave this line as it is. Let's hold Alt to build sharp corner. Continue to draw and then return here with direct selection tool to adjust handles. Or you can simply hold Alt and adjust handles while pen tool is active. It's up to you which way to choose. So A for direct selection tool and move handles. I will start from this point, hold Alt, make sharp corner, do the same here, connect these points. Don't worry if you will have some gaps here. You will be able to adjust it when you will have colors. It will be much more handy. I won't create any points here. Only in this part. Then create lines like so. Connect these points. A for direct selection tool and manipulate handles to match sketch. If you think that this line is too straight, you can add point and move it just a little, like so. Let's continue. In this case we should copy this object right here and before this let's draw a line, select this object Shift plus M for Shape Builder and click on this part. Now let's delete this object, select these two, press Ctrl plus G to group, hold Alt and duplicate them here. Let's adjust these points a little and I will make this object a little bit smaller. Let's create arm. In such case, I will create straight lines let's connect these points let's select these objects shift plus M this object is separated A for direct selection tool and let's round these corners when you can't round corner with direct selection tool when you don't have dot properties and convert selected anchor point to smooth. D for selection tool. Select these objects. Shift plus M for shape builder. Click on this part. Let's lock character layer. Create new layer. And rename it to back. I for eyedropper tool. I will pick this color. Let's create this object. Hold Alt. A for direct selection tool. P for pen tool, M for rectangle tool, duplicate it, A for direct selection tool, pick these two points, round corners, let's pick this point only, press right button on your keyboard, and for this one press left, let's select them and swipe fill and stroke, I will also round corners here, and for these two points. Let's select these two objects, Properties, Pathfinder, Unite. Let's swap Fill and Stroke, A for Direct Selection tool, play with handles. I see that this line is not smooth enough and I think that I simply have unnecessary points. So P for Pen tool, click on this point, 
I want to have handles here, so I will convert this point to smooth. And adjust handles like this. Now let's select this object, Shift plus M for Shape Builder. Separate this part. For this line, I will apply Round Cap and Round Join, and change Stroke Width, like so. Then select it, Object, Expand, to convert it from line to object. Let's create new layer, rename it to Background, I will pick this color, and let's redraw this shape. We can hardly see this line, because it highlights with yellow color. So if you want to see it better, simply double-click on layer and pick any color you want. Let's pick this one for example. And you can see that we see this line much better. I will change this shape to have something similar to reference. We will create ground in the end of this tutorial to avoid any distraction. Right now we will apply colors. Let's bring background down, select it, I for eyedropper tool, and apply this color. Let's lock this layer for now. When you have group and you don't want to ungroup it, but you want to pick only these lines, let's double click on this group. We're in isolation mode, you can't pick anything else, you're working simply with this object. So let's pick these lines, object, expand appearance, let's double click somewhere to exit isolation mode. To pick this object only, A for direct selection tool, let's pick it, and adjust color according to reference. Right now it's easier to ungroup these objects and have lines separated, let's pick them. And to quickly pick color for such objects, you can pick color from base shape, click here on color, select HSB and play with this slider. I use HSB mode all the time, it allows to quickly and easily change brightness and saturation of color. As you can see you can also change hue, so this palette is very handy. Let's apply color according to reference. Let's duplicate this one here, flip along horizontal axis. Duplicate this one here, flip along horizontal axis also, bring these layers down. If it's not handy for you to have these objects separated now, after you applied colors, you can group them again. Feel free to experiment with your workflow. Let's lock plants layer. I will even make it invisible. And I will also make sketch layer invisible, because we don't need it anymore. I will simply adjust colors to character and scooter according to reference. HSB. And make it a little bit brighter. Skin color. Let's use HSB here. I always try to round sharp corners. Let's bring this layer down. Let's select these two objects, Shift plus M, and drag with Shape Builder like so. Simply adjust needed color here. And what is minus of this method? After this you have two unnecessary points here. Just press A for Direct Selection tool to view points. And to avoid this, let's just simply press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, pick copy of this object, pick this object, Shift plus M, drag with Shape Builder, delete this copy, and in original layer you don't have unnecessary points, you have them only on copied layer. So you can simply delete it. Let's do the same with this one, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, select this object also. Shift plus M, hold Alt, delete this part, let's delete this copy, now let's bring these layers up, let's copy this arm, hold Alt, duplicate it here, bring these layers down. As you can see, this arm is on bottom of all layers, but we still have this arm on top of scooter. This happens because scooter layer is in different layer group. So when I have this situation, and I know that I finished to create these objects, I basically don't need them in separate layers. I create new layer, select these two, press Ctrl C, 
highlight this layer and press Ctrl Shift V. Let's make these two layers invisible. We will have them as backup. So now we can select these two layers and bring them down. And we don't need to cut anything. You can move it as you want. To avoid any confusion from your side, I will simply delete these two layers. Now it's time to show you how to work with opacity mask and clipping mask. Let's make background and plants layer visible again. We want to hide some parts of plants, but we want some parts of plants to still be visible outside of this background shape. First of all, click on window and select transparency. This window might appear here or you might have it somewhere here. I recommend you to drag it to this corner, click on it, drag it like so and place it here. Let's highlight plants layer. Press Ctrl G to group and then click here, make mask. If you will click here and uncheck clip, mask will be changed to white and you will see all objects. I will select background layer, press Ctrl C to make a copy, highlight plants layer, click here to enter mask mode. Just take a look at layers panel, I am clicking on this mask mode and all layers disappeared. Even more, you can't move anything, because you're in mask mode. So right now let's press Ctrl Shift V. What you should know about opacity mask, in opacity mask there is no colors, only black, white and all grades of gray. So let's adjust white color, because if we will apply black color, we will hide all these objects. Deselect this object, M for rectangle tool, let's draw rectangle, color, apply black color to rectangle. Let's open layers in opacity mask mode. Here is our background shape. Let's simply bring it up. If you will move it, you will have this picture. If you will delete black rectangle, everything will be visible again, because everything is in white color in opacity mask. So I'll press Ctrl Z. This is needed result. Let's exit this mask mode. Just click here. Now you can see all layers. And with direct selection tool, let's pick these objects. Simply press Ctrl plus C. Highlight plants layer again. Enter mask mode. And press Ctrl Shift V. Color. And apply white color to all these shapes. We still see some unnecessary part of this object, so in mask mode, direct selection tool, and move points like so. Let's return to usual mode, and it's time to show you how to work with clipping mask. With background layer selected, let's draw this object, select background, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V. We placed background copy on top of this layer. Select them both, right click, make clipping mask. A for direct selection tool. And manipulate this layer inside of clipping mask. To enter clipping mask, double click on it. Let's create another hills, like so. Let's bring this layer down. Create Sun. I will exit isolation mode. If you will create some objects outside of clipping mask, let's create clouds. Let's hold Alt. Now you can simply move this layer inside of clip group, like so. Let's create new layer, rename it to ground, let's bring this layer down, pick this color, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse, A for direct selection tool, and adjust this shape, like so. Now let's make this illustration much more interesting, let's add gradients and blending modes. It's very easy and fast to do, I will pick this shape with direct selection tool, Press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, Gradient, Linear Gradient, 
G for gradient tool. Let's choose direction. And now you don't need to pick any color, properties, opacity. And let's choose color burn. G for gradient tool again. Play with slider. And play with opacity. In most cases, color burn works very well, but in some cases, it works not so good. For example, let's pick this object, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, I for eyedropper tool, and let's simply pick settings from this gradient. G for gradient tool. Color burn works not so good here. So in this case, you might want to click on opacity and select multiply, and you will have much better results. A for direct selection tool, let's pick this cloud. And in this case, we won't use any blending modes. Let's simply select gradient, linear gradient, G for gradient tool, apply direction. After this, let's double click on this slider and pick some warm color. You can use color picker and pick this color. Then you can do the same to all other clouds or simply duplicate this cloud. Now let's pick background layer, Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Let's pick settings with color burn blending mode, G for gradient 2, apply direction. Now let's pick this gradient and bring it up. As you can see, we placed it on top of these lines. You should do the same here. Now they look much better. Let's add some interesting shadow here. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, linear gradient, apply direction, pick settings. After this, let's pick black color, L for ellipse, draw ellipse here, properties, opacity, multiply, let's change opacity, select this shape, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, Place it on top of this ellipse, select them both, right click, make clipping mask. In conclusion I can say that you need to practice a lot and keep in mind all that methods that I showed you in this tutorial. Don't hesitate to use opacity mask, it only seems complicated and confusing in the beginning. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials, see you in next videos!